Holy shit. You've never seen the Pentaside up close. You saw how I lived under a giant bridge. A giant bridge, sir. Use it. What Rashan did to your home in Saren, they've been doing everywhere. Sandrak's forces are relentless now that Kalthus has fallen. This was all a sanctuary settlement of refugees fleeing the front lines before it became just another battlefield. It's as good a place as any to continue your training. This place is empty. Sandrak massacred everyone? Your sigils will help you focus your magic. Make it accurate. Keep it level. Prevent it from killing you. Your sigils mark you as a battle mage of Lucium and the Light's army. A Magnus. Yes. Now, get ready to fight, Magnus. Fight what, sir? Battlefields have memories, Jack. I'll wake them for you. Again. Good. This way. You weren't entirely without magic when we met. Innately, you knew how to defend yourself. Yeah, I really just knew how to clean weird gunk off the underside of a bridge. We all start somewhere. Right now, you need to learn how to defend yourself better. At range. Go to that spell altar there. It will teach you how to summon a shield. Take it easy, conscript. You're still vincible. Now let's see what you can do. What's called a triarch, Jack. The Pentasad has gifted you with the ability to manifest all three colors of magic. Some Magni only know certain colors? There are benefits to it. The more limited your palette, the easier it is to master. The triarch trades that mastery for versatility.
That altar there holds your first red spell and a sigil to harness it. Take them both. Okay, do I take the blue one off? What? What? Oh, okay, I put the red one on my left arm. Got it. No, just... Just reach for the red sigil, Jack. Neat. Yes, neat. Now take the spell. Ugh. It... it feels angry. Spells are alive. Red magic is particularly violent, but the sigil will bend it to your will. Don't allow them to close in on you. If they do, switch to your red magic and blast them back. Know which of your colors is best in any given situation. Don't get overconfident. The Rasharnians will always have you outnumbered. Some spells are not focused through your sigil, but through a totem. Take that one. Whoa! I, I can feel it coiling. What is that? It's a lash. You can use it to pull enemies towards you. Most of them, anyway. The larger ones, not so much? Not so much. Of all the colors, green magic is the most curious. It's the province of spirits, of death, life, and transition. Yowch! Ugh! Guessing this spell emphasizes the death part. Hmm. There is a war to win.
altar grants you the animate spell. Animate allows you to manipulate some objects into different shapes. Some? How will I know which ones? They have been marked by another Magnus with a glyph. Look for it. Find the green glyph on that statue there. Then direct it. Ready yourself. Watch the archers. Good. This is all so I can join the Lights Army? You already did by accepting a sigil from their field marshal. This is training. You mean you? You just give me one and boom? Boom, sir. And yes. Then tell me about the Order of the Immortals, sir. Back in Saren, you said you were their leader, too. That's, uh, probably a different thing. The Immortals are more than soldiers. We're the champion protectors of Lucian. It's Masters of Magic and Order Elite. We're the tip of the spear. How many Immortals are there, sir? Too few. Remember to use more than one spell.
Furies are powerful spells that will take great energy to cast. This one will allow you to break enemy shields. Sounds useful. While you constantly draw magic from the Shrouded Realm, it can drain quickly in combat engagements. Those crystals there, use them to replenish your magic quickly and stay in the fight. This way. A single Magnus of the Light's army, with the right training, could have repelled Sandrak's forces here. Saved the lives of those that called it home. Yeah? Then why didn't they? We can't be everywhere at once. So, kinda like Saren then. Save that anger for your final challenge. What is that? Prepare yourself, Magnus. You fall here, you die. That was impressive. The Oath Broken of Kalthus are a difficult challenge. Thank you, sir. High marks all around, Jack. Meet me topside. Those were just spectrals, sir. When do I see a real fight? In time. There's more to learn than just spell casting. Like what? In your case, self-control. Why the frown, soldier? You've done well today. I just... I guess I... Look, sir, I don't want to do this part. The just a soldier thing. Don't get me wrong, I'll fight. I... 
promised a friend I would. Promised my family. Did you? It doesn't matter. What I'm getting at is I want to be an immortal. I want to fight this war as one of you. One of the elite. It doesn't work that way. With respect, sir, that lie is just so... How do I put this? I'm not buying it. All right, you're training me, personally. You command the entire army of Lucium, and it's just what? It's, oh, hey, how about I raise a few phantoms here for this kid I just met because I guess I got time to spare? It absolutely works that way. Because then that makes you special. That's where this is going? Tell me, just how many soldiers do you think Lucium has left to train? Everyone that can fight already is, and we're still losing. Sandrax literally pushed us to the edge. Oh, I, w w well, uh... Yeah, I like your spirit, Jack. I like you. I found a child so lost and so angry whose new powers could easily make them a threat to the kingdom I protect. The choice was either to kill you, or to turn you into a weapon against Rasharn. Because we need everyone we can get. Back up. Option A was to kill me? Don't mistake my attention here for an endorsement into the Order, Jack. You'll put in the time, on the front lines, like everyone else. How much time are we talking? <laughs>